Hello everybody and welcome to Omnipoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. I'm Jack and if you guys are looking for the latest PCGO codes including battle styles, make sure you check out the Potown store where you can use code Omnipoke for an extra 5% off your order. Today I'm here with Joe and we have a bit of an update on the OP League. Um, obviously you may have noticed there's been a bit of a lack of videos on that from ourselves and from other content creators. Uh, so we wanted to basically be as transparent as we could with you guys. Um, as it's been a while, it's been like probably well over a month since you've seen one of these videos uh, across YouTube for now. So yeah, we wanted to kind of give you a bit of an idea of what's going on, um, what the plan is over the next sort of six months uh, based on season one, and just kind of get some of your feedback. So as you can see, we've got the league table. This is uh, what it what will be the final league table. Um, obviously, we intended this to be a thirty eight week program, uh, but because of various different um, issues, scheduling clashes, as well as just general feel for the, um, you know, the, the videos, the, uh, the content creators that were playing in it, we've decided to suspend the league after 20 weeks. Uh, so as you can see on here, we have the final league table based on those 20 weeks of results. Yeah, uh, it's cool to see that I ended up on top. I mean, uh, not every content creator was taking it perhaps as seriously as I was each week, of course. Everyone was doing their own thing. Some people were playing on stream, just testing out new decks. Obviously, we had um, a new set being introduced during some of these league weeks. We had fun weeks in there as well, uh, fun format weeks, uh, theme deck weeks. So this isn't you know like a true test of skill or anything, but a small pat on the back for myself for doing quite well in the league. Jack, you're in the sort of mid-table land, but I'm sure you would have preferred to have got some extra wins behind, uh, under your belt. And it certainly felt like a competitive atmosphere. Uh, a lot of people were bringing their A game and trying really hard to accumulate those points. And at least trying to take a win off their opponent each week. So I think we did a good job of creating a fun competitive atmosphere between all these people. And these are all content creators who, in some cases, we hadn't even reached out to. We may not have even met them in real life yet. Uh, so it was amazing to see overall just how many people were straight away on board with the league which is just a uh, huge praise for us really and their faith in us i hope was rewarded and will be continually rewarded hopefully as well going into the future and uh, at the very least we've brought a lot of new content creators together they could be branching off and doing their own you know co uh, collabs between each other now as well and i hope that they would reach out to either of us if ever they wanted help or advice or you know anything in terms of content they can always reach out to us and get involved with so i feel like uh timing wise of the league it was really important for us to have even done this even though we have ended the league short it felt like such an important time in pokemon where if you cast your mind back to september and even earlier than september when tournaments had stopped uh we were in a, the midst of a pandemic people were twiddling their thumbs and there wasn't the same infrastructure that we actually have now huge huge Thanks to Limitless for creating the Play Limitless website. Absolutely integral part of the TCG these days. Online tournaments are so mandatory for the survival of this game, realistically. And we owe a lot to the Limitless guys, Robin in particular, of course, for running you know, the back end stuff as, as well as you know having such a great brand and putting so much of his own time and work and effort into this stuff, as well as all the organizers of the individual tournaments that are run each week. Like without that, Pokemon may not still be like played. It could have just died as a game, like realistically. But if you cast your minds back to September, we didn't have that infrastructure. And we as content creators, myself and Jack, we wanted to keep producing uh, relevant videos and we wanted to have stakes on the line. We wanted there to be that competitive edge between the players. And it's not something you just get just laddering all the time. Laddering is great for content. It shows people how a deck functions, what you're meant to be looking to do on those opening turns, give you a feel for the deck. But when you're looking at that competitive echelon that we both love because we play in real tournaments and have done for many years, um, it's just not the same. So having someone across from you also trying their best uh, to win and give themselves the best chance of winning with the best decks available, the best tech cards, and keeping yourself up to date with the metagame was really what we were trying to achieve with the league, as well as, of course, you know, grassroots wise make sure that there's enough content out there to really keep everyone going uh when there's a bit of a lull there's no tournaments and a lot of us content creators were relying on that to be our content you know that's basically our schedule we we plan around a new set coming out we talk about the new decks and then whenever we're going to tournaments some people do vlogs some people do 
um, you know, analysis of those tournament results, uh, all sorts of different things go on for the content creators. So rather than just being like this wasteland where no content was happening, we wanted to be at the forefront of providing that content for you guys to be watching and for the content creators to, you know, even psychologically, it can feel really awkward. And it, it's a strange feeling when you're a content creator, when you haven't done a video in three, four days time, it starts to niggle away at the back of your head like you uh, haven't done something, like you haven't brushed your teeth in the morning. You know, it's literally like it gets at you. It really nibbles away at you. It's it's a strange social media thing as well, where if you haven't had those likes, those clicks, it can actually have a really negative impact on your mental health. So for the content creators and the um, people watching, we wanted to have something there for everyone. I've been talking for a long time, Jack, but I don't know if you want to jump in on this. But ultimately, like, first of all, really, really happy that we did something and that everyone was on board so smoothly and ultimately the 20 weeks that we did run went really really well i think uh from all those aspects yeah i mean huge props to every single person that took in, uh, took part everyone was um super accommodating for their opponents there was we we didn't really have any issues at all there are a couple of scheduling issues that maybe push results back to the next week that kind of thing but that's going to be expected when you're trying to combine 20 people from around the globe to all kind of be in, not necessarily in one place at the one time at one time because you know they only had one opponent to play but just trying to keep everyone uh with very busy schedules on different time zones some people you know have a job as well as the content creation that, and then they have to commit to this extra thing as well so huge props to every single one of our content creators um it was it was a really really fun experience and uh even though it wasn't like an official tournament uh, I, it wasn't officially organized or anything like that. And like we say, we didn't do it through Limitless or anything like that. I learned a lot about TOing and tournament organizing from just kind of trying to arrange some games with some people, which uh, it makes me, it, like, again, that's just this is kind of a super separate point, but huge props to every single TO out there as well, because I I tried it with 20 people who, uh, <laughs> there, and there was no issues, and it was really difficult. Uh, it was all run on... Uh, an Excel spreadsheet that has unfortunately basically worn out my laptop. So uh, yeah, it was it was a big commitment, but I think we learned a lot. I think we um, have some great ideas for how we want to adapt this concept in the future. Uh, but one key thing we would love to hear from you guys about is um, what, how do you feel uh, the league was uh, received on your end? Because obviously we all had a lot of fun creating the content, um, and despite us. Uh, closing this league out uh, a little bit early we do still still feel like it was a success but obviously it would be great if um, I think pretty much unanimously across the board uh, content creators did notice uh, typically a lower viewership in the views um, which is something that I think every basically everyone in the league has kind of uh, has chatted to me in the past about this um, and we want to be able to. We want this league to be something that you guys are really excited about as well. And there definitely were a lot of. Uh, there was a lot of hype behind it, but uh, the viewership sometimes wasn't there, which I think a lot of people noticed, and and uh, perhaps was somewhat of an oversight on our part. We expected um, the viewership to be slightly different. So we're really interested in how you would like to see this kind of concept run again in the future. Um, we're not here to announce anything right now. I do have some ideas about how to make this different on uh, sort of the back end for the players for it to be uh, less of a slog than a 38 week league I actually have what I think will um, translate into a much better experience for players and viewers but in general we're really interested to see how you guys would like to see this content in the future because for me personally um, you know the idea of watching some of my favorite con content creators uh, sort of come to blows every week playing standard is really interesting to me especially when you know i'm watching uh content creators go up on ladder and you know ever everyone knows that some ladder games will be very very uh thought provoking and stuff but some ladder games you just don't have that natural level of skill uh that you really want to see so you know pitting two content creators i feel against each other uh, you're always going to get some good thought provoking games as much as standard can bring that they're going to be probably the most thought-provoking games you can get. So for me personally, um, I was really interested in kind of seeing what kind of content these games produced. But we all noticed that the viewership was down. So uh, please do let us know kind of how you would be more interested in this content in general. Because 
Uh, we want to make it, we want, like we said at the start, we made this to hopefully help push content for all of these content creators to you guys in the middle of a pandemic where really every single one of these content creators could have said, I'm canning it in until events are back because, you know, especially when we had no Limitless, there was no, re there was really no reason at all to play. Um, so we want to make this content as good for you, as good as we can for you guys. So uh, any thoughts, suggestions down in the comments would be great, as well as anyone you would like to see in the future in the league. Obviously, um, 20 people was a lot of people this year, but I would like to potentially up it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, dig myself a hole by saying a number, but there is, we are open for expansion. Um, so yeah, yeah. It, it, gonna say and, if and there's, there's just new content creators. Yeah, there are right? as well. <laughs> there's a lot there's... of great new content creators that have actually come out in this online for era, sure. which we also, it feels uh, amiss if they aren't getting their say as well in a league like this. Definitely. So yeah, anything like that, please let us know down below. Um, we're really interested both sort of from a uh, technical point of view, how you would like to see this content, as well as just um, your thoughts in general. Did you like the league? Maybe this was not your cup of tea at all, and that's why you weren't interested in the videos. And if that's the case, we equally want to know. There's you know, there's no point in us really putting time into this if it just is, is going to be a flop. But I think there, I still do believe there really is something behind this concept. And I think this was a great trial run, but I think we learned a lot, and I think we can uh, push on to improve um, sort of a season two, whenever that may be. Yeah, I think a few things like our eagerness just to get it going <clears throat> meant that we put ourselves straight out there potentially before we had considered some uh, admin stuff that we could have done a little bit better. <clears throat> Everything I know a lot of people said that they didn't have constant updates of the, the league table often enough. We did a monthly video and possibly it's actually better to not be a video format and we just tweet out the latest fixtures and the latest league table like to you guys every week or something like that or if there's a better place where that could be shown so you guys could just click on it at any day, any time of the week and you could see the latest results. It's again, I, I find it baffling because I loved the content. I loved listening to the perspectives of all of these, you know, all very experienced players in the game who have been at it for many years and are masters of their craft. They all have a great way of explaining their decision-making as well throughout the time. Like that's uh, one of the reasons why you watch content creators is to hear their decision-making, their rationale about why they're making plays, because there are some excellent names on this list uh, of talented players. And even players who don't necessarily have all the accolades, they still have a way of communicating their reasoning and they still have their own, you know, they're obviously still skillful. This league table, you know, there's not a huge disparity between first and last, you know? <laughs> so uh, everyone's uh, good. Everyone's taking games off one another all the time. And uh, as a viewer, I was you know there's nothing like this and i watched this in other card games i for one love watching grandmasters in hearthstone because you see you know some of the top players uh with real stakes and you get to see their decision making um so something like it's surprising to me that it doesn't it didn't get the viewership and obviously we're not doing it like in the viewership of like we want it to get clicks because we want to make your like the money pokemon there's not a money game in uh pokemon <laughs> there just isn't so we're, we're trying to make it the best viewing experience for you guys um so that it's more worth it for the other content creators to get involved it could end up helping a prize pool for uh the players to again raise the stakes within the league if we are running something similar in the future um and ultimately yeah just make the product better for everyone really is the is the main idea here um because it's not going to be like going away we're ending the chapter on this initial league at 20 uh, game weeks which was a really solid trial we got to see a lot of teething issues that perhaps we wouldn't have um initially seen and it only is in hindsight now that we can look back and say how we can make things better the next time um but hopefully it means that these the infrastructure is better in place for future and uh, when we do bring it back it's going to be um, just better than it was this first time around. Yeah, definitely. We want to. We have ideas for expansion, but we also have have ideas for just solidifying the initial ideas we had, which I think is very, very important. Um, but there is one thing we can announce today, uh, and that's not the it, well. It's the league uh, is sort of a trial period ending, but there will be one final uh, hurrah for the league, and we will be hosting the first ever Omnipoke Invitational. Uh, with the remaining contestants, the remaining players in the league, will all be invited. Myself and Joe will not be playing. We will be casting the event. 
uh, in order to hopefully share the prize pool out between obviously these guys that took uh, time out of their week each week to get involved. Uh, we really appreciate it, so we want to be able to give back as much as we can. Um, I'm not willing to announce a date yet because we're still finalizing some dates, but it's looking to be... We need um, we need confirmation from everyone else. Yeah, basically... To so make sure people are available. <laughs> basically, we're waiting on one or two people to just say um, they're able to make it for the date intended. Um, <clears throat> and then it will be sort of a... Hopefully a big uh, event where there's going to be loads of people to watch. Uh, the, I, the, the great thing about us doing this with 20 content creators is that theoretically we could have you know, a day where there's 10 or 11 streams on at once and you can, you know, be dipping between different content creators, kind of seeing how their run's going, um, as well as just coming back to, like, the Omnipoke channel, the hub, where we will be, you know, picking a game or two to cast specifically um, as well. So I feel like it could be a really, really interesting event. A lot of people, a lot of big names uh, that took part in the league. And, yeah, it's going to be um, hopefully a really exciting event. We've got a couple of... Uh, quite cool ideas for the event overall hopefully we're going to be able to implement uh, some stuff from limitless as well so yeah it should be uh, a nice way to sort of round off this first season um with, with everyone that's still remaining in the league able to compete and uh yeah it should be a really really exciting twitch experience i think there's going to be theoretically like i say a lot of different perspectives a lot of people getting involved um yeah it could be really really fun so yeah i'm hoping uh that that will uh, sort of put a uh, bandage on the wound of no more Omnipoke League content for the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, that that's that's one thing we do uh, want to make clear. There is still one big tournament at the end where uh, we'll hopefully have some pretty cool uh, games from all of these guys coming to you. Yeah, uh, and the standings of the table weren't for nothing. When we initially announced this back in September of 2020, we said that there was going to be prizing structure for the players. There was going to be uh, like relegation as well. We had some DNFs already in the 20 players, so we're not going to do any relegation style stuff, but uh, we will not only have that tournament, which is going to have some prizing, but also, like you said, rewarding these guys for the amount of time they put in, the trust they put in into us. And yeah, ultimately it was more than an hour a week they had to reshuffle schedules and i know these guys oftentimes have uh, like rigid stream schedules so it is a big deal even making an hour out of your day each week um people were inconvenienced by this for 20 weeks so we definitely want to reflect that uh to the guys and uh yeah i think that's pretty much all of our key points mm -hmm. unless you had anything else to say jack i don't think so like we said if there's anyone you want to see in a potential future season please let us know if there's any ideas about the style of content that we brought maybe it's uh, you know, you want to see, like like we said, more updates. Um, Could be anything. Alternate, like Alternate we... formats, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Conquest, if that wasn't a big deal, because it's not really a format played in Pokemon. If you want to see any other thing, like even if it's just best of one each week, uh, we're getting much more used to best of ones, right? So, yeah. <laughs> um, and it would make uh, for much more digestible video bite size kind of things where sometimes it could be, just be like six minute 10 minute 12 minute videos so there's a ton of different things we can experiment with uh, it would also you know just going back to a best of one it would mean the time constraints are far less stringent mm -hmm. uh, but that's just one idea so and we'd like to hear more from you guys we'll also be uh post you know trying to um feedback these thoughts to the content creators and hopefully any additional content creators that we do try and look for in the future as well um to get their opinions to try and make this the best thing that can happen and it's not just a covid league it's an ongoing feature that is going to be on you know cross channels that everyone can really tie in and it also means that whenever new people filter into the hobby be it watching a tricky gym video or an icatopy video or a trainer chip video doesn't matter who you get to naturally catch the eye from a different content creator and it means we all grow together which is what we want to see right um, you don't want to see like a, a low floor and you want to be um, raising everyone's profiles up together. That's what we all want to do eventually, you know, get larger as channels. I'd imagine that's what most people want. <laughs> uh, and especially for grassroots players, we did try and identify a lot of the smaller channels out there. And hopefully uh, the league at least uh, drew some attention to some of these channels. Not that we're trying to like ride their coattails or anything or say that it's all done to us. Of course, that's not what we're saying. And they're all doing their own stuff in their own way that's really helping them. But if you, if this is another avenue for people to see some of these channels, it's just like another huge bonus for everyone, I think. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, 
Um, also, to uh, like we've kind of said it, it once or twice already in the video, but if I'm sure there will be uh, some of the people that were taking part in the league watching the video as well. And again, just a massive thank you to uh, each and every one of you for taking the time out of your schedules. We know we both know firsthand how difficult it is producing content, like especially whilst holding down a job or university or school or anything like that. So thank you all uh, so much for taking the time, uh, like we say, to put putting our faith, uh, putting your faith in us. And hopefully you had fun even uh, around the teething issues. It was it was fun for both myself and Joe. I and love playing in it. <laughs> yeah, it was it, honestly every every week. It was it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I, like I say, I've spoken to every single one of the content creators. I've had um, individual discourse with every single one of them, and all of their ideas uh, ideas are have been are feeding into what will hopefully be a bigger and better season two yet to be announced. But yeah, we're we've we've got what we feel is a great concept. And we want to hear exactly what you guys would like to see to make this as good as good as we can uh, in the future, content-wise as well. So yeah, uh, but I think that's it. We've managed to somehow ramble on for 20 minutes, um, but we wanted to give you the update as to because we were getting a couple of comments saying, you know, um, where's the OPOP content, stuff like that. So this is that big update. Uh, we've got a pretty exciting week ahead. We've got a couple of other admin style videos coming out in the next couple of days. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Um, and other than that, unless there's anything else you've got to say, Joe? Uh, congrats to me for winning. <laughs> um, and everyone else who did well in the league. So, yeah, cheers <laughs> for watching, guys. Thanks, everyone.